I also don't remember if it was in the fight that failed or not, but I don't like the idea that her name is spelled without an E. It just feels unnatural to me because I'm used to spell... Yeah, no, that wasn't. That was when I was busy on the foreground map thing. Anyway, it's actually super simple and not as complicated as you as it sounds. Wow, that's quite the lead you got there. We still got Lita and Stone Sour that need to play catch up, but that should not be a problem. So what we do need to do though is we need to get Whirlpool though, so we need to go ahead and just drop Gygus off and pick up our whooper. Alright, as she was saying though, as I bump into literally everything on the map, right back here is what's called the Dragon's Den. There's nothing inside the Dragon's Den. There's Dragon Pokemon, that's it. There's no items or anything else worth showing off. It's just this. So once you get here, go ahead, throw up a repel. You're gonna be like, oh wow, stuff to the left. Oh, nope, that's all right. Stuff to the left. Oh, nope, nothing there either. And then you're gonna get on your stupid little bitch <laughs> slowpoke, surf around, which, you know, the idea of surfing on a slowpoke now just seems hilarious because it's gonna have that dopey ass look on its face. Nothing on any of these islands. Just right here, this little whirlpool. That's it. And from there, you're just gonna sail around a little bit more. Still absolutely nothing here at all. That little thing right there is just... just a building. You can't go into it. It's the Dragon Shrine. Serves no fucking purpose. This area is useless. Still nothing there. Still nothing there. And then right here is the only thing in the entire fucking map. Alright, I recognize your true power. This badge is yours. allow poke, uh, this badge will enable Pokemon to use the move for climbing waterfalls. This also recognize you as a trainer and obey your every command without question. I also want you to have this TM. That contains Dragon Breath. No, it doesn't have anything to do with my breath. If you don't want it, you don't have to take it. So you collected all the badges. Your destination is the Pokemon League and in Indigo Plateau. Do you know how to get there? From here, go to New Bark Town. Then surf east. On the route is very the route there is very tough. Don't you dare lose at the Pokemon League. If you do, I'll feel even worse about having lost to you. See, that's what makes that little small bit of redemption of maybe she's looking out for you into nope, never mind, she's a bitch. So yeah, no, she, she don't care about anyone but herself. Yeah, there's, this is it. That was it. It's just an empty thing. You put up a repel, you surf around. Oh, wow, you know what? You are powerful. No. This is just literally the stupidest thing. It's dumb. I don't like it. Super small area. Down there just leads to the little shrine thing. And then son of a bitch, we're right here back at the door. Like, <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, yeah, then there's this. Hello, Gold. I have something here for you. Could you swing by my lab? See you later. Alright, so here's the thing that's kind of annoying. Um, like she said, the route up ahead, you know, from New Barktown, is super fucking tough. The problem with that is the fact that... Well, firstly, we actually need to go to, uh, as I say, Goldenrod. Yeah, we need to go to Goldenrod. Because this whooper is not going to do it. We need to go catch something else that can learn Waterfall. That's the reason the route up ahead sucks. Because you can only have five Pokemon on you. Thankfully, Gygus is at least two levels ahead of everyone else. One technically, but two in front of two others. Here inside the Elix Forest, if you want to get the best HM user in the whole game, surf right here in this little area. Honestly, I kind of wish I had caught this first because this would have been right around the time where we could have had, yeah, we could have had it just in time so we could have used it for, uh, you know, instead of fucking Whooper for Rock Smash because it would have just been a far, far better idea. That fucking Psyduck was harder to catch than the damn Lugia, are you kidding me? 
That was some shit right there. Yeah, chronic headaches. Alright. So yeah, I had to look through. It's still, again, bullshit that, um, fucking... Wooper cannot learn Waterfall in this generation because it can in other games. I don't understand it. But yeah, so we want to go ahead and teach him Whirlpool first, so this way he can go ahead and replace that. Wish we could have taught him Rock Smash, but it is not possible, to my knowledge, to be able to do that. I don't know, maybe I can ask the dude see if he's got an extra TM, but I'm pretty sure he can. Then we can also teach him Waterfall. Usually for Waterfall I go for things like Goldeen, but Goldeen cannot learn... Whirlpool, which makes it fucking irritating as well. Gyarados can if you want to waste your Gyarados like that, which I considered, but the answer is no. I don't want to do that to my favorite. Um, Cut is also another one it can learn. Flash is another one, which we're probably just going to teach it just to see, just so it can, uh, I hate to say replace Sam, but it's just a lot more useful to have that instead of having to carry around more guys. Now before I end up teaching it anything else, which if there is anything else you should teach it, I'm going to say strength just because if we're going into a cave using flash, you're probably going to need strength or rock smash. So if, it, if you can't get it rock smash, get it strength. Yeah, there's no second rock smash TM. Now I'm here in Cherry Grove just so this way I can go to uh, this Pokemon Center so this way when I use teleport it'll bring me straight here. That's advised because once you cross over to Kanto, you cannot fly. Now if we surf over here and we can talk to this guy, he'll go ahead and give us some Mystic Water. Just in case you care about that, you can do that earlier. Otherwise, there's nothing at all to the left of this area. It's just blocked off and it's literally just Homeboy right there. So I'm going to go drop this Mystic Water off and we're going to go fly, because I don't want to walk, to New Bark Town. Alright, over here now at Elm's Lab, we go ahead and talk to him like he asked us to. Hi Gold, thanks to you, my research is going great. Take this as a token of my appreciation. I've caught in like maybe eight guys, but that's good enough for him. The Master Ball is the best. It's the ultimate ball. It'll catch any Pokemon without fail. It's given only to the recognized Pokemon researchers. I think you can make better use of it than me. I mean, that's a roundabout way of what he said. So I'm thinking on using that basically on the Entei since, you know, that's basically the best idea I've got. Um... That's kind of also where it gets me thinking Raikou and Suicune may not be in the game. I'm not really sure. Um, there's no real point in talking to Mom. Fuck Mom. Mom sucks. But basically we have to go through this area with just five Pokemon because it is pretty much required to have Waterfall go through this. That makes it infuriating for me. So anytime you need to go heal or switch out a member, you're going to have to fly all the way to Cherry Grove. Now if we go ahead and start... Well, uh, maybe I should put up a repel just to be safe. Alright, now let's go ahead and surf all the way over. And the second you land... Hey! Do you know what you just did? You've taken your first step into Kanto. Check your Pokegear map and see. And he's right. We're in Kanto. So that means... That if we try and do something like, say... Fly... Oh, fuck you, game, smartass. I don't know. I'd never tried, I always just used teleport. But basically, we're in Kanto now. Which is super, super awesome to me. Um, unfortunately, that means there's a lot of stuff up ahead we're gonna have to cut out. Because there's this little ledge up here we can't really go past. I thought I heard a click. We gotta go past and uh, kill all these guys. But the gist of it is we have to climb up this fucking waterfall every goddamn time. That's what sucks. Also, over here... So in theory, if I wanted to go ahead and use Nidoking, I could. I would just have to wait until after I beat Ekertik to actually get him to evolve into a Nidoking. Which wouldn't exactly be the worst timing. It'd be like level 25. So, like, it's, it's manageable, but... Yeah. And then just glide on down. And then from there, we're officially into Kanto and let the battles begin. I'm going to start cutting these out. I'll meet you when everyone has been destroyed. These fights are hard. You will go back, heal, trade people out a lot. Just a warning. 
Wanting to mention real quick, I forgot this over here. There's an item back here. The rare candy. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just show myself surfing back. <laughs> just so you get, this is right before the waterfall and it occurred to me that I made an oopsie. So, yes, repels effect, we're off. Watch me get in a battle. No. Okay, so yeah, right there. That's exactly where it is. Also, I forgot this guy gives you TM37. I realized it basically instantaneously upon um, starting the whole cut, but yeah, there it is.
Alright, as you clearly saw, I changed my mind because I remembered something important. This game doesn't technically have a victory road. This is about as close as it gets. I also apologize for the Frankenstein's monster that I had to put in front of it by having to chop out little bits here and there to make it work. Basically, half the team is 35, half the team is 34. And for what I need up ahead, we want Stone Sour up front. But more importantly, we also want to go heal. So I guess this warrant showing off. I didn't need to use it at all. But um, right down here, this is a heal house. So I can go fix myself up. There's also a house to the left path, just around there in that little grass. If you go inside that house, there's a diary. You read the diary. It tells you the location of the weekday family. So remember how we found that Frida Friday girl? Yeah, there's that. Um, so there's it shows you where all of they are. And, you know, you can go grab whatever items you want. But this is basically the closest thing we get to a victory road. So now that we've cleared that out, still stuck with shitty Psyduck, because there's no such thing as a fucking PC on this side of the goddamn area. Stupid game design. Only trainers who have proven themselves may pass. Oh, the eight badges of Johto. Please go right ahead, sir.